Introducing Hanaro Stent for colorectal use. This is an uncovered stent. Uncovered stents are divided into those with lasso and those without lasso. The flexible hook type structure allows excellent flexibility with optimal radial force. 12 radio peg markers provide maximum visibility under fluoroscopy. A repositioning lasso on the proximal end is only for repositioning if needed after deployment. However, the lasso should not be used in the case of total obstruction. This is a covered stent. Both larger heads prevent stent migration of covered stents. This is another covered stent with a special feature, a segmented body. This is a covered asymmetric stent, specially designed to be placed near the rectum. This stent is available for TTS application. For Crohn's disease. 26 mm proximal uncovered head. 40 mm distal uncovered for anti-migration. Short lasso is for easy removal. It allows for inverted removal with an extra long distal lasso. This is a Hanaro type delivery device for the Hanaro stent, uncovered colorectal stent. A black marker on the delivery device indicates the full deployment of the stent. A red marker indicates the recapturing limit or point of no return. The locking system prevents accidental deployment during placement. A yellow marker indicates the proximal end of preloaded stent. A radio peg ring aids excellent awareness of the deployment procedure through fluoroscope. This is a chew-type delivery device for the Hanaro stent covered colorectal stent. Ergonomic handle. Safety locking system. Flexible olive tip. Here are necessary tools for a stent procedure. Cannulation catheter. 20 cc injector. Contrast medium. Saline solution, 0.035 inch guide wire. Here is a short overview of colorectal stenting. Advanced endoscope, insert guide wire. Insert the catheter through endoscope. Slowly advance to guide wire and catheter. Move back and forth to pass through the lesion. Remove guide wire. Inject contrast medium. And check the lesion size through a fluoroscope. Insert guide wire. Withdraw the catheter. Before introducing the stent, please choose the stent with a length at least 4 cm longer than the actual stricture. Now, take the delivery device out of package. Inject saline solution into the hole of delivery device to make sure that inner path of the delivery device is smooth and clear. Advance delivery device along the guide wire until the yellow marker is located from 2 to 2.5 cm beyond proximal lesion. Remember that the red marker indicates the point of no return. And black marker indicates the end of deployment. Check the location of olive tip. You will also see the radio peg ring through a fluoroscope. 
Loosen the safety lock by turning it counterclockwise after checking the location of the stent. Before pulling the outer sheath handle beyond red marker, the stent is always resheathable by pulling the outer sheath back till it passes the distal black marker. Check the endoscopic view of full deployment and drainage. Here are tips for stent removal. Use a snare. First, close the stent by catching and pulling the lasso. Second, pull out the snare inside the working channel. Third, hold firmly the endoscope and the snare together. Move back and pull out the stent. Thank you for your time.